Hey, Cosmo here. Welcome to this, another attempt on the Fullocraft HD server. Uh, I'm joined today by Macro. Hello, Hello. Macro. Hi. Uh, we're excited because we are finally going to start building, well, at least planning to build, the uh, Wasteland's Creed. Uh, yeah. Ba what do we call it? Basin. The, the basin. Wasteland's Basin. Wasteland's Basin. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. As you can see behind me, we have picked a location where we'd like to start building our base. And we, yeah, so we've got some prep work to do before we can build on the ground here. But we thought to start off with, as we're in like a wastelands, it'd be quite fitting to build underground. So we happen to have found underneath this really cool looking basin, there is a ravine that runs from basically here all the way across. See that little gap there that macro broke? there uh, <laughs> all the way across to the other side of the map <laughs> so um, yeah so we're going to probably use that ravine as our starting point for an underground base and then eventually we'll build on the land when we feel up for it so what we'll do is have a little look down under there and we can have a little start at looking through where we're going to go with this project but it's exciting good times So this saved us a lot of time because this already existed. <laughs> so yeah, this is a massive amount of work done for us. This is the ravine. We've just come through and lit it up basically with some torches. It's pretty much all we've done so far in here. Made a couple of small plans for things we may want to do later. Although here's where Macro broke the place, look. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing underneath the sand and the ground so if you touch anything up there what did you do you placed the torch or something didn't you it just i placed uh, like a couple dirt blocks <laughs> yeah so we're gonna have to uh, sort of work out a way of repairing that and get rid of the sand that is there because that is well you know how often i die it's, it's, that's my death waiting to happen that is uh yeah we've got this weird glitch happening here which is pretty cool just some sort of like optical illusion occurring <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're going to use this as some sort of holy ground because it's pretty pretty crazy. I think maybe make it so you have to stand here to to, to uh, appreciate the the holy oracle. The oracle. That's what we're going to call it. The oracle. Yeah, the I like oracle. that. Like yeah. So you look into the future. We can see the future. Well, you can't zoom. As soon as you zoom, you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this is one part of the ravine anyway. If we follow this water stream down, we've got the rest of the ravine going that way, and then through here. <laughs> yeah, through here, we've got more of the ravine, and then we've got this little cave, cave of wonder under here. And then out the other side of this little cave, lava lake, we have. Get out of it, you. A more ravine. Hello, 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 hello. So yeah, Echo. that's pretty good. <laughs> we could add that in post. <laughs> Echo, Echo. <laughs> yeah. So we got this really cool, ridiculously long ravine, uh, and some natural cool stuff going on. So yeah, uh, and then I think we should go with the um, sort of the steampunk vibe that we're going with at the moment at our actual outpost, and sort of carry that into here. So have some sort of like steampunk ravine base that's got like buildings and houses and stuff poking out the rocks yeah like an uh, underground steampunk base I like that. yeah an underground steampunk city wasteland <laughs> the name's gonna get really long might need an acronym <laughs> so this is the way up at the moment that we've just sort of made a little pathway up and it takes you up to this level here and we're just gonna sort of build this out so it naturally feels like a pathway along the edge of the ravine um, and yeah, maybe build some houses and shops along here and see how it goes, really, to make it feel a little bit more steampunky. So I think our first projects are going to have to be, what, I suppose, making these pathways a bit more user-friendly, because you know how often I die. Um, I'm going to die at some point in lava. It's going to happen. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we need some railings. Expenses or something, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So maybe we could start on a theme for light because i don't like using torches they're kind of boring so maybe we can work on making some better lighting pathways um and then, yeah 
Oh, the other cool thing is along here, there is a zombie spawner just there, which is awesome. Yes. We have lit it up so we don't get killed. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we could definitely yeah. incorporate that into whatever we put in here. To be fair, we seem to have done quite a good job. I haven't seen any mobs yet. What, five stacks of torches we used, I think? Six, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> we did go for it. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on with getting some wooden resources, I suppose. I suppose I should start off with making an area where we can grow trees. Because uh, I think once we start building underground, we should probably make it so that we can have our entire civilization like self-sustaining. So everything we do is underground in this area. So we need to sort of grow crops underground, like produce... So if we've got food, we need to produce wood underground somehow. And just, yeah, yeah I think that'd be quite nice. Here. Yeah, yeah, nick some villages and do all that down here as well. That'd be fun. So yeah, I think that'd be quite cool. So once once we start the base, we can have like a self-sustaining city underground. Wicked, all right. Well, uh, I'm going to get cracking on with doing some pathways and we can catch up again later if you want. See how we go. All right, yeah. All right. So I've marked out the area down here to pop in my tree cutting area. I'm actually quite lucky this area is already really tall. So hopefully we can pop in a spruce tree or something like that in this space. I might have to make it a little bit wider, but we'll see. There's also a set of stairs here that runs around out the back and goes up into a cave. So we can have a look up there later and see where that actually goes. But for now, uh, I'm quite happy with the way this area is looking. But um, I kind of want to make this feel more like there's a bigger gap in the ravine. So... What I was thinking of doing to start off with before I build anything is to actually push these walls a bit further apart. So like take every block and sort of just move it back by like four blocks. Uh, it's been a bit of a crazy idea, but at the moment it doesn't really feel like much of a gap. You can kind of sort of jump between the two sides. I'd like to make it feel like there's a much bigger gap in this area. So um, yeah, just so I start the project off properly. I'm going to take on the idea of moving this wall back by four blocks and then we can uh, get started on making some paths.
Nice, this area's looking a little bit better. Uh, between recording clips, I did end up dying and losing everything. So I've had to uh, start again with some basic armor. But yeah, for now, before I finish this episode off, I would like to um, finish off some more of the fascia of this tree farm here. So I know I'm going to put one tree here that will grow up into the middle. But I'll probably put a few more that go in in the area behind here, off camera. But I keep looking at this bit of wall here and I want to do something fancy with it. Well, say fancy. It's like a bit more interesting than just the cave. So um, this kind of looks a bit like a tree trunk to me. And as this is going to be my tree farming area, I was thinking of making this into like a little bit of a tree trunk. It's got like branches going off and maybe some leaves in the ceiling if they look okay. I'm not sure how that'll look. But I thought if I use some acacia um, where it's got that sort of grey colour to it, it'll go quite well with these logs, hopefully. I mean, I'll, I'll hide the, <laughs> the bright orange in it. But, um, so I'll see how that goes. So I'm going to get some acacia and make some solid blocks with that. And let's see what we can do. Oh, look, Macro's just joined as well. <laughs> oh, Macro's just over there, look. It's not timed or anything. <laughs> right, so let me let me try doing this then. So if I swap the dirt out for acacia, let's do a little bit of that. That one could be normal log. Normal log. A little bit of that. Boom. Boom. That one go one person downwards. Let's do those two as well. I've also got a drowned somewhere in here that's driving me mad. <laughs> so I need to find this drowned. And I was thinking of doing a few of these branches in the ceiling as well. So maybe replace those two with logs. And then those two. There. That's cool. Those two. Sorry. Uh, I'll carry on doing the rest of this. And then I'll, you can come back once I finish. Because <laughs> me just saying those two over and over again is going to be rather boring. Yeah, I quite like the look of that. That's looking cool. Now we put some leaves in and see how that looks i might extend the branches out a little bit more so they sort of wrap around to here as well that might look a bit excessive though so i'll play around with that a little bit more later so this is what we've got so far i think it looks quite cool it kind of fits in with the stone it just subtly gives you a little tree there where did you come from okay i don't get how you even spawned because these are half slabs <laughs> What? You, you're not possible. <laughs> so that's what we've got so far anyway. Um, I'm not too sure about mixing the two leaf colours. Maybe I should do it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the tree. I can always add a few more branches in as well. So in the next video, I will finish off the front of the shop, put some windows in, make it feel a bit more like a little cottage in the cave here and it opens up into the tree farming area so yeah, i hope you enjoyed this episode it's been really good fun to make really looking forward to doing some more stuff in this cave project we're going on here so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>